Warren Buffett's message is pretty much clear for everyone. Sell, 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 and sell. As the man has literally sitting on a $300 billion stockpile, he recently, on the third quarter earnings, I was thinking he was going to sell Bank of America. I was completely wrong. He did something completely worse. He sold Apple shares, cutting again half his stake in Apple that he currently have from the previous quarter. He's basically sold three quarters of his stake in Apple, a man that has basically bought Apple shares and has openly been about, about how much he loves this company is selling Apple. And there's only one reason for that. Simply, he sees a discount coming in the future that others don't see as the market keeps piling in as people in retail keep piling into the markets the natural question is is this basically a bubble i would argue yes especially as we've seen with the recent smci charts on the stock market because we can clearly see that a stock that basically falls 34 percent in a matter of two days is excellent value guys right excellent value again hype meme stock to no end end so buffett on his third quarter earnings now sitting on 300 billion dollars in cash he basically also said no buybacks which was curiosity for berkshire hathaway again berkshire hathaway has outperformed the broader amount of the market and today we're going to be discussing exactly what this means for the stock market we're going to be talking about the doom and gloom news because honestly there is no good news to give you guys there is no hope that we're going to avoid a recession slash depression and how you can prepare for it, we're going to be talking about it simply put i would say get out of the stock market Market, as one would say, go to protection, buying VIX calls, looking at different things. I'm going to explain to you today why that is, why I'm sitting on 80% cash in my portfolio, only dabbling in certain things. And even earnings was an abysmal failure this week. So let's just recap Apple earnings. As you can see on the daily, it was just a horrible, horrible mess, right? Just sell, sell, sell into Apple. We also got juggernauts like Meta basically selling off, breaking trend, breaking down you had the king microsoft as well massive gap on earnings so it's just like where where are you guys finding the bullishness and also as i've talked on this channel multiple multiple times the market is basically have one job and that is to take the most amount of money from the most amount of people in the shortest amount possible and i always talk about exposure as we basically when we were on the market run right the rally of basically 2024 this massive rally all the way over here I was basically saying, hey, the bears are shorting the hell out of this. The market is looking at easy money. And I was looking at the net speculative position specifically. And as you can see here, with NASDAQ net speculative positions is just barely warm, but S&P 62,000 net speculative positions to the upside. The bears are gone. There is only one team to take money from, and that is you, the bulls. You, the bulls are going to fuel this downside because the market did not skip a beat on Thursday selling off. Now, the reason the market, as everyone says, oh, it rallied on Friday, that means everything's happy. No, you misunderstand the point completely. Why the market rallied is because of these abysmal payroll numbers, because as we have told you time and time again, the market basically finds to construe itself and constrict itself into this weird as not humanly possible that low bad payroll numbers are magically going to make the Fed fix everything. You guys have to understand, the Fed doesn't control drug you know what, because if that was the case, the 10-year would not be basically at 4.38%. I'm going to give you a hint when Fed rate cuts occurred right down here and what subsequently happened is the market the bond market yields rallied and they continue to rally as we see more and more tension buffett selling apple as apple is already going down what do you think it's going to do if the arrow is already pointing down do you think this thing is going to go up anytime soon right everyone's going to look at this and basically say yes i'm, I'm going to buy Yes, I'm going to buy short of approximately 6% of all-time highs. That's an amazing discount. While Buffett is selling, right? He's looking at this as overpriced at this point. He's selling. So I would not be surprised to see Apple at 200 in a matter of days, right? It is the weekend. I so told you guys, Warren Buffett can, will tell you something in his earnings because simply put, he's looking at a cash pile because he sees the freight train coming down the road. And also for all those that love Bitcoin, right? I'm going to talk about Bitcoin for just a brief moment. 
Yes, you rallied, but the question is, are you gonna hold it? You're very, very close to holding that nine day moving average. So the question is for all you Bitcoin holders out there, are we going back down to 63? Is it a sucker's rally? You let me know down in the comments section below. We're gonna be talking more about this in the weekend deep dive. So make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel so you guys know when all these videos come out, have bell notifications on. Thank you all so much. And if you guys wouldn't mind dropping a like on the video, it really helps us out on YouTube. That's all we ask for in return. But also we can look at other markets like China not really rallying. This massive rally that occurred was on speculation of stimulus. We're yet to see if we're going to get stimulus. Nikkei has been just flat after the basic disaster that was here. It's just been a flat fest the whole way. Same way with our own markets. Our own markets this week did not end strong. And I'll dive more into this on the weekend deep dive, but weekly breakdown and hold on the S&P weekly breakdown, but not hold on the NASDAQ. So it puts an interesting perspective, but the S&P is very, very close to breaking down, especially with Apple being sold out by Warren Buffett. I do expect this now to break down, not even to mention all the bad news that we are about to just talk about right now. So again, Berkshire Hathaway sells Apple. That's his largest stake and he's trimming it. I thought he was going to sell Bank of America. Say I was wrong. So, you know, no, no, no skin off my back there. But the reverse repo is just cratering, 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 cratering. This is 155,000 billion. We literally shaved off 50 billion in a matter of two days and everyone's being like, ah, this is hunky-dory, everything's fine. Guys, this is the Fed's piggy bank that is pushing liquidity into the bond market, keeping everything happy hunky-dory to the election is running out of money. When this thing hits zero, the treasury has to go to emergency funding to push liquidity to the bond market. And that means rates cannot continue to basically go up. And subsequently, inflation is not conquered. As we saw with the inflation numbers on Thursday, we saw core PCE prices basically flat and actually a slight tick up from their expectations. We also saw PCE price index 2.1% previously revised uh, down from 22 up to 2.3. So still sticky, right? PC is the one that fluctuates, core is the one they want to look at. So is the Fed gonna basically settle for a higher goal? They've openly said no, but let's see how it comes out in their next Wednesday is the Fed meeting, I believe, or is the week after, no, correction. It is the week after, we have November 7th. So after the election on Wednesday, Thursday, which is an odd one for us this year because normally I'm expecting them to be on Wednesday. So it's actually a Thursday. So that fooled me up. They're expecting basically a 25 basis point rate cut. I would argue you could even see a 50 because this liquidity crisis is just horrible. This is basically, hell breaking loose on earth. And if it wasn't bad enough, right? Like if everything wasn't bad enough with the bond market, the liquidity crisis, we also got various things going on in the world, which is Iran's supreme leader crushing response weights the US and Israel. Notice who's getting thrown into there now, US and Israel. So the rhetoric is getting jacked up to no tomorrow. So Iran's not just gonna take what Israel did to it lightly. They're basically saying, we're coming after you, you wait for us. We got something in store for you as we head into election. And I love the polling that is occurring in the election right now. RCP national average still 1.1. Disregard Wisconsin and Michigan. I know a lot of people are gonna be blackpilled as my partner on this channel is sometimes. But then again, if we dive into actually what these pollings are, again, look at where the outlier is. CNN, really, do I have to say more? Plus six in Wisconsin. And if we go to Michigan, we can see the outlier plus five, plus four, uh, Quinnipiac. And it, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense when everything else is construing around the aggregate and then you got these outliers pushing this poll out. They basically want to discourage voters from going out and voting these states. So make sure you guys go out and vote. It is your civic duty and also don't complain about anything if you don't go vote because then you had your chance to fix stuff and you didn't shake it. So I'll be voting. I hope you guys are voting and you should grab a friend and do it as well. Even if you completely very merely disagree with that friend about their policies, go on and vote, grab them to vote. You know, it's our right. So going back to Apple, right? Really quick recapping, what's probably gonna happen to Apple? Well, first line of support is gonna be this uh, trend right here. We've now broken it. Secondly, we can have a flat support around 215. I probably think you're gonna shed right through it, especially with Buffett selling. The last time this happened, I'll give you a hint, was right over here when Buffett sold. We got massively on Apple. Everyone was panicking like no tomorrow. And then they said, oh, he's just trying to go over taxes. He's selling a quite a lot to get out of taxes, right? So again, 
This is gonna be very, very interesting to see what happens on Apple. I personally think 200 is our nearest target, especially with the 200 day moving average sitting down there and the S&P breaking down. We see if the S&P is gonna break down. So make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel so you can see when the weekend deep dive comes out. Our latest live stream will be pinned over here or AMD video live stream reaction. So make sure you guys check that one out again. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow in the weekend deep dive around three ish, hopefully. And it's going to be a fun one because we're going to be talking about a lot of things on there and I'll see you guys in the next one.